Today is a day of mercy. God still to continue forgive us sins. And God commands all men on the earth to repent and believe in the gospel. Believe in the wonderful good news of salvation in Jesus Christ. To respond for our life and punishment for sin is a death. But God still loves you very much. Они специально включили музыку, очень сильно мирскую мешает проповедовать. Но мы продолжим, и, может быть, потом покинем это место. What do you need that your life could be successful? Do you think that your money will help you if you have money? Do you think that your heart could help you? That you should ever believe in Him. We will not be punished, but have everlasting life. Dear souls, thank you, Lord, because this life we have from God very temporarily, and we need to make a decision until we're still alive on the earth. And we are here to proclaim the glory of Christ and declare the kingdom of heaven is at hand on the greatest time finishes and even our life could be terminated today so what's going to happen if you do not believe that god is real look at the sun look at the stars and lights look even through a mirror on yourself how beautifully God created all the human beings, but sin separated us from God, and sin brought the dust. And, uh, and the holiness of God calls to punish, but we were not punished. The God's only begotten Son. He gave himself as a sacrifice for you and my sin. Look at the cross where Jesus Christ died for you. Look at him. He rose from the grave. God loves you very much. But you must be a panic. It's a command of the King of Kings and the Lord, or the Lord of Lords. Jesus Christ, who is the ruler and the true king, he commands all men on the earth to repent and believe in the gospel. Repent in your sins. Change your lifestyle until it's not too late. Because the way that your soul will be saved is the way through the cross through the Calvary, where Jesus Christ paid the price for you and for my sins, for you and my transgressions. Think about your souls. Without the Jesus Christ, your life is wasted. Jesus is the only the way to be saved. Think about your souls. Don't die. Do not die. Choose the Christ. Choose, choose the life, everlasting life. Choose the Lord. You don't need to die. You need to understand that without the Jesus, only one way to the eternal death. Only Christ could forgive the sins because He is the Lord. And only He is the sacrifice for you and my sin. God loves you, yes, and amen. But you must to repent. If you're still living in a sin, you'll die as a sinner. You need to change your lifestyle. You need to follow the Lord. And your membership, church membership, will not help you. Your baptize will not help you. You need to know God in Jesus Christ and born again and change your lifestyle. Because right, it's a right. And wrong, it's a wrong. And sin, it's a sin. 
Hear the word of God. That God says he will punish San Francisco. And all city going to go under the ocean. Hear the word of God. God will punish this city. And destroy because the seed of people in this city. The punishment of God is coming. Repent until it's not too late. Repent until it's not too late. And all you see around the city will go under ocean. And many people will die. Many people will die. But even if you die and I die, but if we die in Christ, we'll live forever. But if you die without a Jesus Christ, you die forever. God loves you. Come to the Lord. Jesus loves you. Come to him. Humble your hearts. Crush your proudness. Open your hearts for mercy and repent of your sins. Change your lifestyle. God loves you very much, but your sin will take you to hell. But God only could forgive you and cleanse and wash you. That's why he paid the price for your sin. That's why the Christ shed his blood as the Lamb of God. He was slain because he's love to you. But you are free to make decisions. You are free to say yes or not. But what is going to be your answer? God so loved this world. He sent his begotten son. That whosoever believed in him will not to be perished, but have an everlasting life. God bless you, heart. I know you. Are you thirsty? Beautiful, wonderful weather. Maybe you're thirsty. But I have something better than just a water. God has a living water. And you could drink it without pain. God says, you don't need to have a silver. You don't need to have, have a gold just to come and drink it. And you, you'll be alive. You'll gather, you can, you'll gather eternal life. But you must do you must do repent and change the lifestyle. Uh, brothers and sisters, you see uh, how devil uh, is attacking today through these people. They put their sound so high, uh, but it's okay. Uh, we probably going to move it. Uh, we did not lose, we uh, preached the gospel. А, братья и сестры, очень сильные атаки сатаны, очень сильные. И через этот звук, когда они увеличили, не даю специально, чтобы нас слышали. Но мы здесь уже минут 15-20, поменяем место, конечно. А, сейчас уже, я думаю, достаточно буду слышать. Благослови Господь. And God says, we born, we die, and after the judgment. It means that we all one day going to stand in front of God and see Jesus Christ. To respond. But whosoever believed in him will not be judged. It's what Bible says. That's why God commands you, repent. Change your lifestyle. You need to have a Holy Spirit. Open your hearts. Receive Holy Spirit. Look into yourself according to the Word of God. Maybe you never read Word of God, Bible, which is a book about a God. Bible is a book about God's Father, God and Son. It's a book about us as a sinners and a way how to be saved. Do you want to be saved? Do you want to meet the Lord as a Savior and Redeemer? Do you want to go to heaven or maybe you think you're going to stay forever on this earth? Could you, could you show me anyone who stayed forever on this earth? We all die. 
One day we are all going to die. I'm going to die. I could die today. But I'll be in heaven not because I'm a good, but because Christ is my righteousness. Because God gave me Holy Spirit and I have a faith. What about you? I'm not better than you. You also could have a faith even more. And God also wants to become you, be your righteousness. God also wants to save you because He loves you. But remember that your sin separated you from God. But it's your decision and it's your choice. God doesn't put any pressure to anybody. You are free to make a decision. But if you live in sin, you are a slave of sin. Because first who sinned is the devil. The evil one, the devil, the Satan. And he blinded people. And if you don't know Jesus Christ, you are blind. I live as a blind person. I live in the sea. But God gave me mercy. And we are here to remind you that God is merciful. And he loves you very much. But you need to repent and change your lifestyle. Because right is a right. And the wrong is the wrong. If you want to know what is a good or bad, read the Bible. But even without, you know what is a good, what is a bad. You know perfectly. And yes, you are free to make decision to choose. But you also need to know. You need to know that we all going to stand in front of God and we will respond. Maybe you do not believe that God is real. I'm telling you, God is real. And God is exist. And He is not that. And He is coming back. Look at the sun. How beautiful God created sun. Look around. Look at the stars and nights. Look at the moon. Look even into yourself to a mirror. And Bible says that we as a people, as a human being, we all created by image and likeness of God. But again, sin separated us and sin brought death. That's why we die. Because when God created Adam and Eve, they were mortal. After when they sinned, they became mortal. And we all born in sin are their descendants and we also die. But praise God, we have a love of Christ. Praise God that we have a victory of the cross. And that today is a day of mercy. Today is a day of grace. God continues forgiving sins, but you need to repent. Only Christ is the way to heaven. Only Christ could forgive your sins and His blood He shed on the cross could wash and cleanse you. Maybe you're Muslim and you say that you believe in God. Why you need to believe in Jesus as a Lord? I'm a former Muslim. I live in a Muslim family. I am born in a Muslim family. But truth only in Christ who is not just a man, not just a prophet. Jesus is the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings and only the way to be saved. And it's not important you Muslim or Jewish or Hindu. You need to know Christ as a Lord and change your lifestyle. You need to be born again and change your lifestyle and change your mind. It's what the Bible says to meet Jesus personally. And if you were a chain with a cross, or if you're a church member or baptized, it doesn't mean that you're saved. You need, you have to be born again. Open your hearts. Make yourself available that God could give you Holy Spirit. You need to have Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus died for you. Jesus died for you. Do you live for Him? Do you live for Him? Praise only one super hero, Jesus Christ. 
but he is only one superhero of Jesus Christ. Come to Christ. Come to Christ. Repent and believe in Jesus Christ. Repent and believe in Jesus Christ. Jesus. Jesus is the Lord. Jesus is God. God commands all to repent. God commands all to repent. Where are you going? Heaven or hell? Where are you going? Heaven or hell? Faith in Jesus, heaven, unbelief, hell. Faith in Jesus, heaven, unbelief, hell. If you die, where will you go? Heaven or hell? If you die, where will you go? Heaven or hell? Faith in Jesus, heaven, unbelief, hell. Faith in Jesus, heaven, unbelief, hell. Jesus, Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Jesus, King of kings, Lord of lords. Jesus, King of kings, Lord of lords. It is appointed for men to die once, but after this the judgment. It is appointed for men to die once, but after this the judgment. Slava Gospodu. Do you think you will escape God's judgment? Do you think you will escape God's judgment? Jesus. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Jesus, King of kings, Lord of lords. It is appointed for men to die once, but after this day judgment. It is appointed for men to die once, but after this day judgment. Do you think you will escape God's judgment? Do you think you will escape God's judgment? Jesus, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus died for you. Jesus died for you. Jesus. Anxious, anxious, Jesus offers rest. Anxious, Jesus offers rest. Jesus has risen, risen indeed. Jesus, Jesus is Lord, Jesus is God. God commands all to repent. This is end times, and God's grace period finishes. But today, it's a day of grace. Today, it's a day of mercy. God continues to forgive. The blood of Jesus he shed on the cross. Jesus, who is the Lord of lords and the King of kings. He is the Lamb of God who was slain, and he who took your and my sins. Your my transgressions and paid the price. When he was killed and crucified for us. But he is not only died for our sins, he rose from the grave. And he is coming back. But he commands to all men on the earth to repent and believe the gospel. Have you read the Bible? We have a Bible since it's great. Maybe you suffer a lot in any unique prayers. Please, we would love to pray for you. Life is not easy. A lot of cry, a lot of cry today, a lot of injustice. But purpose living on the earth, it's a salvation. Destiny, what is your destiny? Where are you going to be? Where are you going to go? Do you know this and Bible answers? You could know. Only Jesus Christ is the way to heaven to be saved. Because only Christ died for our sins. That's why you say, I am a way. I am a life. I am a truth. Do you want to know the truth? Read the Bible. Read the word of God. And you will know about the truth. And Christ himself is the truth. But if you love to live in sin, it's your choice. You are free. But if you live in a sin, you need to know that first Jose who sinned was the devil. And the devil blinded all people. And only Christ could open your eyes. The same as he opened in my eyes. By his mercy. And we are here to remind that God is merciful. But sin must be punished. But then seek to punish us. God Father sent his begotten son. And we proclaim glory of Christ. 
we declare the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And you could have a peace with God. Hear the word of God. Hear the word of God. That God's punishment is coming. God will punish and destroy San Francisco. The city of San Francisco will go under, under ocean. You could, could close my mouth. Maybe you could. But you're never going to close. You're never going to close the word of God. You're never going to close the gospel. The message of a love of God. That God loves you and wants that you repent. I hope that see you in heaven. I hope that you will repent. Are you thirsty? Are you thirsty? Jesus is a living water. Jesus is a living water. And you don't need to have a gold. You don't need to have any money. Come to the Lord. It's a free. It's a free. The same as we want to give you Bibles. If you wish, it's a free Bibles. The Bible is more than gold. Bible is more than diamonds. It's a living word of God. Could take you to, could bring you to salvation. Even if you're going to have all gold of this world, but reject the Lord Jesus Christ, your life is wasted. You cannot take anything with you, but you need to know that your souls are, are worthy in the eyes of the God. But God is holy. He cannot close his eyes when we see sin must be punished. Somebody needs to pay for sin. And Christ paid for your sins. He is sacrificed for you and my sins. He is the Lamb of God. When John the Baptist saw the Lord, he says, this is the Lamb of God who takes the sins of the world. And it's fulfilled because before Jesus died, before Jesus died, he said, fulfilled the plan of salvation. Christ died for your sins. He rose for, from the grave for you and my sanctification. And today is the day of grace and mercy. God continues to command all men on earth to repent and believe in the gospel. If you need to have a Bible, it's a free. See us. If you need a prayers, see us. We'll pray for you. A lot of sufferings, a lot. A lot of temptations, a lot. We fell and we sin. But again, if we confess our sins, God will forgive us. And the blood He shed on the cross will wash and cleanse us. But we have to have a Holy Spirit and change the lifestyle. We must repent. And repent, it's, it's a mercy of God. Repent in your sins. Repent in his sins. Come. will respond to God but not because all the universal belongs to God is still to belong to God and he is a good he loves you very much but right it's a right and wrong it's a wrong if you sin if you like to live in sin you will respond but you need to understand that punishment for sin is a death and not just to die here on the earth when one day we're going to die, it's what the Bible stays, we're born, we die, but after going to be judgment. And I'm talking today, it's what the Bible says about everlasting or eternal death. It's, it's much worse than just to die on the earth, just be separated from God forever darkness. But the good news is that we have a hope today. Christ Jesus is the Lord and only the way to be saved. He is able to deliver you and help you. But you need, you need to repent and change your lifestyle. Come to the Lord. He will wash and cleanse you by the blood He shed on the cross. He will give you power of the Holy Spirit. And you will be changed. You will be changed. Just ask Lord to touch your mind. Ask Lord to touch your heart. Be humble and honest and come to the Lord to be forgiven that your name would be written in the book of life. Maybe you don't believe that God. Wonderful day. Wonderful, wonderful water. water. But we, we have, have much, much more wonderful, wonderful good, good news. news. That, that God so loved this world. He took his begotten son. To 
It will forever deliver the name, will not to be perished, but have an everlasting life. Dear souls, we are here to remind you that God loves you very much. And that Jesus Christ will be the Christ for your sins. When he took your and my transgressions and sins and went to the cross to pay the price. Why? Because the righteousness of God and God is whole and sin must be punished and we all are sinners. We all do automatically get sin. That's why the law of God, the righteousness of God, Us because we deserve to be punished. God sent his begotten son who became a sacrifice for you and my sin. He is the Lamb of God who was slain and shed his blood, the blood of Jesus, which washes and cleanses us from all our sins. And grace continues that today we could continue to hear a way of salvation which is the purpose of our living on the earth. And that word of God continues to be spreading among the whole nations because of Christ Jesus is all in the way to be saved. And God commands you to repent. Repent until it's not too late, until you're still alive, because you have a home, until you're still alive, if you don't know Jesus. Maybe this day is the day of your Available for Holy Spirit. You need to have a Holy Spirit. You need to have a Holy Spirit. God wants to give it to you. Repent and change your lifestyle. Repent and change your mind. Come to Jesus. One day you will bow down and put your knee down because everyone goes, you put me down and confess. Every child will confess that Jesus is the Lord. But the question is. When you're going to finish this journey on the earth, are you going to meet Jesus as a savior? Are you going to see him as a redeemer or as a judge? And it will be too late. Because when we die, it finishes. If you die, we die to Jesus. You die forever. Repent of your sins. I understand the sin is like like, 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 like something sweet, maybe. It's how the devil shows, but unfortunately, it brings the crime. And the punishment for sin is that. Maybe you like it in sin, if you enjoy it, but you need to understand that you will respond to your sin. I live in sin. I'm no better than you. But God forgive me, and He's my righteousness. If I die to, today, I'll be in the heaven, not because I'm a good, but because God is my righteousness. You remember Jonah. We have our book of Jonah in the Bible. Have you read the Bible? We want to encourage you to read the Bible. If you don't have a Bible, we have a Bible. We have a Bible. It's a free. If you wish to have any testaments, we are here just to see us and we would love to give you Bibles. If I were to offer a little money, I believe it's going to be be a line here, big line, even for five bucks. Here is a more than billion dollars. The Bible. Word of God is more than diamonds or gold because Bible is the word of God could bring you to salvation. And you need to have a salvation. Maybe you don't want it, maybe you don't believe that God is a real. God is a real. And God is resist. And God is not that. Repent of sins. Has just the amo. Has just the amo. Has just the amo. God loves you. But we need to repent and change our lifestyle. So Jonah. God sent him. Even Jonah didn't want to go to preach and a witness and uh, deliver the word of God to the people of Nebia because they were very cruel people and enemies of Israel. But after what happened, and then Jonah went there. Maybe you even heard this when a big fish ate Jonah. You remember? Maybe you were a child. You remember? You remember this story about a big fish that ate Jonah. It's written in the Bible, but Jonah witnessed it to the Nebia, the people of the Nebia. And you know, they were repentant. Jonah went to the place where people were gathering and started to preach the word of God and say, 40 days, the Nebia going to be destroyed. 
Jesus. Hallelujah. 